What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Ferguson Riots and why I can't get enough of them. Now, I'm not proud of this, but I'm one of the people that's been on CNN all day watching this shit, just encouraging the media to keep staying there and reporting it. And I'm not I'm not proud of that. I know I'm just encouraging them, but it's so entertaining. Holy fuck. I watched a chick get a rock thrown at her face mid-sentence and keep going like it didn't even happen. Another dude just standing in tear gas, coughing, crying, on the verge of death, keeps going. These guys at CNN are fucking legit. And uh, I admire how how much they want to get the story, because, wow, uh, I would not be doing that. And then you have the people on the other side of the fence that are, are the protesters, and some of them are just hilarious. There was one guy in the middle of a, in the middle of a, a giant scream battle, just screams out, Where are all the hoes at? Another dude just grabs the CNN reporter's mics and mic while they're live and just goes, fuck CNN, super loud. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm thoroughly entertained. I can't wait to see more. I'm going to have my eyes glued to CNN.com like the stupid American that I am because I am just eating it up. Now, my opinion on the whole Michael Brown cop dude situation, I'm not super privy on what happened. I haven't been keeping track of it that much because it's like typical, like, White cop shoots black guy. Racist. <laughs> now, I'm not a lawyer or a police officer, but here's three tips that are going to help you not have trouble with the police. One, don't rob a store. Two, don't get into a physical altercation with a police officer. Three, don't go for a police officer's gun. Now, again, I'm not an expert, but in my opinion, those are three pretty solid tips to uh, not getting shot by a police officer. So, I would encourage all of you to do all of those things. Now, uh, the thing with the thing that's so fucking ridiculous about all of these all of these occurrences, there's been so many over the years, like Trayvon Martin and this, that, you know, you can name them, a bunch of them. It's never a fucking innocent, like it's never a completely innocent guy. It's never like the the ones that are really popular. Now there obviously are ridiculous situations of police brutality, but the thing is, is that you never hear about those. The ones that are completely clear cut, where white guy shoots black guy, racist dude gets caught, thrown in jail, whatever. The ones that are completely clear-cut, where it's obvious, you never hear about those. It's always the ones where it could go either way, or what I like to think are, are the ones that where uh, the result is not going to be what a lot of people don't like. The ones where the result is quite clearly going to be that the cop is going to get away with it. Those are the ones the media really likes because they know that the aftermath is going to just really blow up and get tons and tons of ratings so they can sell tons and tons of advertising. Now, personally, I was not surprised by this verdict at all, and I was not surprised by the George Zimmerman verdict at all either, because the way the system works is that you have to be proven guilty. You're innocent until you're proven guilty. And uh, the proof for this was fucking terrible, and the proof for the Trayvon Martin thing was pretty fucking terrible. So, I don't know. That's just me, though. I know a lot of people probably aren't going to like this video. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people probably aren't going to like this video, but come on, guys. Fuck, like these both of these instances, the the people that the people that got shot, the innocent the innocent victims in this situation, turns out that they really aren't quite as innocent as it seems. So I don't know. You never hear about the, the fucking the little schoolgirl that gets shot by the police on her way to Bible camp. Like you just never hear about that. It's always like, oh yeah, this guy robbed a store, saw the police officer. Went for his gun, then got shot. What? They shot him? What? That's ridiculous. Like, come on. What the fuck? I get my tricked out Paladin, rocking the Paladin with the uh, sleight of hand attachment, the 105 millimeter cannon, and uh, what else do I have? Uh, extra time, I believe. And boom! Look at that thing go. Love the Paladin. I actually have a, a pretty, a pretty crappy Paladin. You'll see.